everybody is predicting doom and gloom with the real estate market now. With everything that's been going on, interest rates are sky high. Prices are still sky high. So people are predicting that real estate in the United States is gonna crash. So what's gonna happen? Should you invest in real estate right now? Yes, let me tell you why. I know that answer may shock you, but I've been doing real estate investing for over 20 years now, and I have made millions of dollars in real estate investing, and I coach and teach people how to do that. So let me give you some advice here that you're not gonna hear that often, but it's very critical to understand if you want to make money, if you wanna become financially independent, if you want to be able to invest in real estate successfully. So the first thing is that you need to make sure that you do not try and time the market. I'm sure you've heard this advice in regards to stocks and other financial investments, but it applies to real estate just as much. The thing about real estate investing that you need to understand, and when I'm talking about real estate investing, I'm not talking about speculation. There's a difference between investing and speculation. Speculation is when you rely on some future event to occur in order to make money. Investing is when the current situation, the current cash flow of the property makes you money right now. Obviously, in the long run, you're gonna make more money when properties go up in value. We use leverage appreciation to do that when I teach about real estate investing, but it's not the thing that you should be looking for when you're looking for an investment opportunity. You can think of investing in real estate and buying properties as lottery tickets. It doesn't cost you anything to hold on to it. it. It gives you money, cash flow, but then someday if it goes up in value, you make a lot of money. That's the best strategy, buying you know simple 30-year fixed loans, believe me. All the other kind of stuff out there is gonna hurt you right now in this market. And believe me, I can talk to you about this from experience. So let me tell you a little bit of a story. So remember 2008? 2009, I bought a property, the most expensive property I bought up until that day at the peak of the market. I bought this fourplex for $425,000 and I was scared to buy that fourplex. It was already kind of overpriced in that market, but things were going up. But when I looked at the numbers on it and interest rates were high as well, the deal looked solid. It was a good cash flowing deal. And so I bought the property and it was about break even cash flow. It might've been slightly negative at that time, but you know, a, a, what I would consider to be a good investment. And then almost immediately after, in less than six months after I bought this property, and this was in a complex of, of fourplexes, the other units, other buildings in that complex started selling for $240,000, $220,000. People were short selling it when the real estate market crashed, the big crash. So what did I do? Did I sell? No, I didn't sell. I held on to the property and there's no reason why I need to sell it because the thing is the economics of it didn't change. Just because someone said it was worth less money, it didn't matter to me because my mortgage payment was the same. My rents were the same. In fact, they started going up because people couldn't buy houses, so rents started going up. So it didn't matter to me, and I was in it for the long haul. In fact, I still own that property today. And can you guess what the value of that property is worth now? It's somewhere around the $1.1 million range. So it recovered all the way back up, and now it, it's highly profitable, and I still own it. And the rents, let me tell you how high the rents are now. They are insane. They probably doubled, more than doubled in that time frame. Here's the thing. Guys, you need to understand that you're looking for good deals. Now, yes, is this market the best market? No, it's not the best market, but you can't be going out and timing the market. So here's what I would say to you guys as well. If you know what I'm talking about here, if, if you're, you're still a little bit lost here, if you wanna become financially free, the best way to do that is through real estate investing, as well as building a business. Both of those things, I don't have time in this video to talk about, but there's a link down below. Book a free call with me or, or a member of my team and you might as well get the free call. You might as well find out how to chart your financial future so you can become financially free. You can become retired and get out of the rat race. That's what I show people how to do in five to 10 year time span instead of 40 years like most people have to wait. So go click the link, it's a free call and go check it out. You might as well find out. Now, if you want another video to watch, because you wanna learn more about real estate investing. One of the biggest questions I ever get in real estate investing is how much money do you need to invest in real estate? Watch this video next on how much money you need to invest in real estate and I will give you the answer.